Cade Rutolo. That is the guy that we are going to be checking out today. Now, the title is Young Prodigy of Submissions. Cade Rutolo from uh, Vote Sport. And uh, yeah, I really do enjoy reacting to these. These are actually top tier. If you do enjoy this video and you do find this not as cringe as most people, then be sure to like the video and also subscribe if you are new here and you want to, you know, stay in tune and up to date with my uploads and uh, with my activity on this platform. But yeah, I think that's that's all. Let's just get into this video and uh, and find out how good this K Rutolo is. Three, two, one. Let's get into it. Young prodigy Cade Rutolo never ceases to amaze even the most fastidious martial arts fans. Oh, shit. oh look at that! He jumped off the wall. Oh, to take world title fight. Oh, damn! He's a he's a grappler. He's got shoulder. By the age of 19, he Holy became the shit. youngest ever submission grappling world champion. Damn. Conquered the Asian promotion one. <laughs> Oh my, look at that. And is teasing a potential move to MMA. It's time to inspect the rising phenom's Ooh. path from kids division to the pinnacle of the sport. Oh my, he's dominating people. Are you kidding? Oh my. Protect your neck. What the hell type of choke is that? Cade and his twin brother Ty were born in Hawaii in oh, 2003 shit. and spent their childhood under the hot California sun. At the urging of their father, oh, they began shit. practicing jujitsu from the cradle and started competing at the age of three. That Seven is years and a bunch of medals later, the twins were already signing sponsorship deals. Trained by the legendary Mendez brothers and later Andre Galvao, the boys would beat their peers at the world stage over and over again. Man. They always start so young, man. I mean, in all of these videos I've checked out, Rod Tang, uh, you know, all these great fighters, they all start when they're like as young as you can probably be. In his very first professional performance, the 17-year-old Cade clearly showed the purple color of his belt was nothing more than a formality. Following a Dars choke Jeez. calibration, big matches his highlights where he's actually um. been the, the older, the older. Athlete. The young talent pinned the opponent's leg to the floor. Now you can see his brother and in the back. the neck on the fly, on the giving him the tips and using it to pass. High with his arm, Ooh. trying to take some pressure. He's got the top. He's got the top. Wow. Whoa. In 2020, ah, both brothers cool. entered the Kumite tournament. In the first round, the slender teenager's devil may care style won him a decision over a Brazilian powerhouse. That guy's big, man. In the semis, Cade faced Shit. another spectacular prospect, Roberto Jimenez, who had made a lot of noise during his first year at Black Belt, taking opponents' backs Ooh. faster than school lunches from kids. Rutolo immediately Man. went after a leg lock, but his shot ricocheted. Because now he can sprawl out. Once in control from his favorite position. Oh, whoa! Oh, damn. There we go. He's gonna get the back. Oh, he's got him. Jimenez eliminated the annoying obstacle. Deeper now. And freed the judges from their duties. There he goes. Oh, oh, wow, Roberto Jimenez gets the submission. That is crazy. Roberto didn't stop there and would go on to beat Ty in the finale. Now he's got to get two hey. hooks. There it is. Ah. It is oh, he got the brother as well. Tolos would cross paths with their nemesis more than once in the future. Wow. Damn, so he beat both brothers. That's actually kind of not. I mean, you know, essentially, there's two chances <laughs> for them to get a victory, and they lost both times. I mean, the video is about Cade Rutulo, so I'm guessing he's better than his brother, uh, or he's, you know, achieved maybe more. Cade soon appeared at a combat jiu-jitsu event. A peculiar rule set not only encouraged submissions, but also allowed resounding smacks oh, as a substitute sure. for ground and pound. Slaps in there. Oh! The Californian prospect's first foe Round had his shoulder bomb. cracked 30 seconds in. This made it. This I, this I makes it a bit more interesting. Shoulder. Oh! He necessarily has it. And while his ears were still ringing, he found Shit. himself in a deep knee bar. 
Oh, knee bar. Great knee bar. He's got a great knee bar. Oh. Wow, Kate Rotolo. Good the shit. The opponent in the semis ended up on the scaffold in half a minute. He gets in. Oh, guard pull with arm and guillotine. And got French revolutioned in an oh. instant. Guard oh, area kind of beautiful work. Oh, oh with the guillotine. Rotolo stays on it. Oh, my. He's, oh, he's just holding that. He's trying to the showdown One minute in. against former that high school crazy. wrestler P.J. Barch kicked off with a leg lock shootout. Rotolo in on the heel hook, turning, get on this knee Cody bar. just twists and now PJ's while holding the leg. Oh. On the inside here. Finding little success, Barch turned to his roots. Nice take down by Barch. K tries to roll through and he ends up with his guard pass. And arrogantly what disregarded the, the first wake-up call. Rotolo may be thinking about that buggy choke. See that? He continued to push the freestyle agenda. Really, really strong wizard play there. Oh, oh, what a oh my god. Retribution was not long in coming. Here's this buggy choke <laughs> attempt. He's in trouble here. He's getting squeezed oh, out. What? What the hell type By of shit was that? The victim's head between his leg and shoulder. Ruotolo no locked in the triangle what? choke for additional pressure. Thereby Bro. executing a rare buggy choke. How the? Buggy choke. Three See, that type of shit is just insane to me, man. How do they learn this type of technique and, like, to be able to do that type of shit? Like, imagine you're, a, you're, you're you know, you're in a street fight, and then they take you to the ground, you start to wrestle the guy, and then he does that shit. I wouldn't even tap at that point or, like, try and, like, get out of it. I would just die. Mate, your life is over. You, you know, you just give up at that point. Like, if you get into that position, you better have a gun or some shit to can protect you because of that dude what in the fuck i've never seen anything like that before ever in my life these grapplers or like submission eyes they are something else three fights three finishes and a well-deserved belt Ooh. however the best is yet to come holy oh, beard what in the six months after insane. receiving his brown belt rutolo shared the mat with john danaher's student ethan Krellenston. Respect for the elderly was out of the window right away. <laughs> that big wizard kick. Wow, what, what, yeah, what an exchange right there. They are oh, not like, what, How do you... No warm -up this here. is a leg entry here We're... for Rutolo. He's... Ethan miraculously survived Damn. a fully sunk-in armbar. Coming up onto a reverse triangle possibly on the armbar here. Dude. Cranston had to roll. This is oh, nearly on. This really could on. be over. Tap into this. This is... Oh, my. Just tap. Oh, my Dude, this guy's a fighter. He is almost out. Oh. So close to the what? But left the head unprotected, which spelled his doom in the end. That is crazy how they get all this shit, man. Rolling through, this could be the finish right here. This looks dangerous. He's a oh, a fleeting moment of there negligence with a single leg get up, and Rutolo latches you in his vice. Front of the stomach. Oh, man. Oh, my. Look at that shit. The choke. In the next performance, Cage swings around you. on display. He played possum and allowed the foe to pass to side control, only to lure him into the trademark buggy choke. Uh -oh. oh my, another the buggy tap choke. Didn't take long. Dude, that might be my favorite choke, because that just looks so complex. Just a month later, complex. Cage stepped in on short notice, avenged the loss to Jimenez. He opened with oh, an explosive Jimenez. double leg. Nice oh. oh, he's not fucking around anymore. And an arm bar he wants this win. Whoa, an arm. Oh, that, wait, what? That. Bro, did you see that? I'm pretty sure he just headbutted the floor. Audacious I mean, arm bar look at this shit. This better be, this floor better be fucking soft. Oh, or God, he just got shit. brain damage. But couldn't settle oh, in my. side control for long. Cade with the sweep. Oh. Both athletes fought tooth and nail in every episode. Roberto, now Roberto's hot in the back. And Roberto's in a great position. He is Holy so good at fishing from here. Let's see what Cade can do to get out of danger. Roberto's oh climbing and climbing. Cade's almost out. What's going to happen? They're near out of bounds. Oh, That's no. Mark. Oh, wait Menace a minute. pulled an no, ace good. out of his sleeve. He has it. He has these hooks. Played a Bro, strong hand. So Continuing forward, complex. Roberto looks to isolate an arm. And took home the bank. Dude, defend here. There it is. We could see oh. the tap here. Cade's surviving, but it doesn't look good. Damn. The rear naked choke Found that Two Jimenez, man. identical losses in a span of He's a year insane. ruffled the teenager's feathers. So he showed up at the next flow grappling He's tournament gonna want with bad man. intentions. 
the path up the bracket what is up at the next flow grappling tournament with bad intentions. Flow the path grappling. up the bracket what does that began mean? with a duel versus Diego that just submissions Pato. Or like... Each fired one shot. Oh, look at that over oh. attack! Over attack from Diego Pato! That is locked out! Yet, only the American's oh Darce choke turned out that? to be lethal. That doesn't mean that he's out of danger. There is the oh. The semi-final was over before it started, when the opponent's knee exploded from a scissor takedown. Oh! Oh no! But in the scrap for gold against Gabriel Damn, Sosa, I did not know Rutolo that went airborne to set things in motion. Dark horse. He knew he had something Wait, this match is 30 minutes, minutes long. Look at the what? pace. And put on a firework show for the fans. Oh! He was one step ahead at all times. Oh no, they're going out again. Whoa. Oh! Sort of scrambling up. Cade noticed the opponent going into a turtle position to prevent the guard pass. <laughs> oh, that was a big tactical error there from Sosa. Intercepted him on the second lap. Casually go belly down. Oh. Does it again. And locked up his go to strangle seven minutes into the bout. Cade Rotolo fixing the dust. No way. That looks good. That looks tight. It's falling on top. Oh, that is crazy. Back on the winning track, the 18-year-old Californian traveled to the East Coast in November 2021 to win a ticket to his first ADCC in the qualifiers. He entered the 77 kilo division and had a total of seven matches. The rival number one was immediately given a flying license. <laughs> Shit. Bucking like a Bronco what to escape of pants are those, man? <laughs> exposed his neck. Never seen that before. Oh my. Bro, when you just like twist and turn. A similar plan was while implemented the in the next duel. That Reactive hurt, takedown. Like... Cat like agility. Oh shit. Like, look at all. What? And a patented Darce to follow. What is happening? What? Dude. Elegant and vicious. Shit looks as crazy. Shooting. They're just rolling around. Oh! The and audience was in for another surprise a little later. Cade countered the annoying foot fetishist. <laughs> foot fetish. Took his back. Set up an arm triangle. And finished it from an unorthodox angle. Oh, what? Oh, what from the side? Dude, there's so In many the things I have never seen ended up before. Standing man. Across the this is like familiar barge. This Wise is a different danger, level. PJ avoided the trap he was caught in last time. A completely different level of grappling. Oh my! Cade scored two hard-earned points only in overtime, which led him to the final. So these guys need to be strong as shit, man. They're just picking each other up. Almost 80 kilo, huh? Pick you up, mate. The Holy match against shit. the gifted prospect, William Tackett, started off with dynamic wrestling exchanges. Now that is so smooth. Man. Oh. The Kelly Kid masterfully negated leg entries, as well as sweeps. Oh my word. While looking for the finish from anywhere. Great passing position. Uh oh. Uh oh, buggy yeah. joke. Uh oh, <laughs> when that leg comes up. <laughs> dove in for a single buggy leg. joke time. And pursued the back. Oh wow. But ultimately lost two points himself. However, he managed to restore the balance. Yes, yes, yes. With an equal score, they went into overtime. Wait, how do you how do you get points? Maybe he said it, but I'm not 100 percent right now. How is it you get points, dude? I just want to point out when I watch this shit, and I don't have any type of wrestling or grappling or anything. I don't have any ability in that shit. But it's like to me, I don't understand how you learn this shit. I feel like it's kind of like chess. 
Like you just, there's so many things that can happen, or go, you know, that's that's going on. You need to keep track of his feet, his legs, his arms, his elbow, his head. You know what angle the body is at. Like there's so many things. I feel like you need to take care of the fact that to be able to, you know, counter attack or defend or whatever. I feel like this is just a physical version of chess. Rutolo looked noticeably better. Oh. And took the victory by decision. Shit. Still don't know how the points the ECC were, but... wasn't the only good news. A month later, the brothers received their black belts from Andre Galvao, and in March 2022, signed contracts with the Asian Promotion One to take part in their grappling super fights. One. The debut was just around the corner, so Cade matched up with MMA and Jiu Jitsu legend Shinya Aoki. The Japanese submission hunter had seen it all during his storied career and was glad to test the rookie. Oh, he had those pants as well. Damn. Okay. Rutolo was not at all in awe of the veteran and charged at him with no hesitation. That's how you should do it. Start dominating straight away. Aoki weathered the initial storm. Goes gable grip, using the fence to his advantage. Up oh, there it is. First head and arm. However, the Ooh. prodigy's cage wizardry was on point as well. Yo! That legal? Can you do that? How I many if you can? That could. is small. Oh, oh, he got him. Oh. He got him. Oh, that's the. To the end. Oh, he had it. Having outclassed the season. Maybe a bit longer. I don't know. To pull guard slides Damn. around the back. Cade went on his quest for the ultimate gold. Shit. Bro, if this guy goes into MMA or the UFC, holy shit. It's gonna be a long day for non grapplers. <laughs> He's just gonna go for your legs. And they did say in the beginning he is trying to get into the MMA, so damn, he might be he might be the next prodigy of the UFC. I don't I don't know. Abu Dhabi Combat Club, or ADCC for short, is the Olympics of submission grappling, where the most dangerous limb oh, collectors really? in the world gather once every two years to determine the supreme one. Rutolo's intent was to set a record by becoming the youngest champion in history. Four mm. bone-breaking gurus separated him from that goal. The first of them was Lachlan Giles, the godfather of Australian Jiu-Jitsu and a notorious Ooh. knee reaper. Oh, <laughs> a knee reaper. Damn. Galvao's Padawan had to exercise the caution of a sapper. Rockland trying to get. He cleared the scattered that mines knee. one by one. Let's go for the knee again. Yeah, so Cade's on the Oh, that's grip. bad. That's bad. So I think while he's on the grip. Oh, Jesus man. Christ. Now he's got. Ex okay, yeah, he's out. Before eventually moving into firing position. How does he. Oh, oh. He just jumped back on that. Oh. Shit, good shit. Cade took advantage of a fleeting opportunity, threw up a nearside arm bar, and advanced to the quarterfinals. Crazy. Good old Jimenez was standing across. This oh, oh, we got Jimenez back again. But what I was going to say is, do you see how calm he is while being in the danger zone? When that Giles got that heel hook, the dude did not have any facial expression or what whatever he knew exactly what he was doing and he knew he could get all that shit that is a good attribute to have man this time rutolo showed he was no longer the skinny boy from two years ago creatively oh, escaped redemption. a disadvantageous position come on oh my goodness these two are swinging and Cade reverses the position to land on top and of course they are this is his rivalry about two minutes in Drops back now for a leg. Oh, and this is possibly dangerous for oh. And Cade reverses the position. Of course they are. Top. And this locked is, in this a is tight a inside prime hook about two minutes in. Rival Drops right here. Oh. oh. This is possibly dangerous for Roberto. Oh. Oh. Cade Rotolo is moving to second. Good shit. However sweet revenge may have been, he was a class act as always. <laughs> what a match. Deja Vu also took place uh, in the semis, personified by the annoyingly persistent PJ Barch. Cade was oozing confidence. Oh, now no. for the double now, but Ooh. PJ Barch. 
Oh, and now Bro, right on the head, game. man. How? Two minutes before the end, Rotolo initiated a wrestling exchange with a brilliant peek out. Oh, and there's the sit out from Cade Rotolo reversing the position. Back up on the feet and a and oh. caught BJ slipping. Oh, is Cade on the oh. Is Cade on? No, he's not. He's not he's chasing the leg. Oh, he's oh, 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 <laughs> Once again, demonstrating his predatory that instinct in the thick of things. I didn't Kane even see that one. Oh, submits PJ Borch here and punches his ticket to the final. Oh. The final, let's go. The end boss was Mika Galvao, the 18-year-old jiu-jitsu genius from Brazil. He had already made a name for himself on the international scene with spectacular performances and was considered okay. a favorite in the eyes of many. Pushing down Crazy. That forearm hip there. there Only 18 and he's Mika in the final. Galvao. The action that transpired on the mats confirmed the future is now. Kate's good, really good at defending his position. Mika spins out, Kate on top. Yesterday's so these... children created magic in non-stop exchanges. <laughs> children. Right to 50-50, or no, going right to the heel, I should say. I mean, how old is Rotolo here? Yeah. Mika now, getting to the back, and Kane was a nice counter. Sure. Galvao was casting spells from guard. And become one of the youngest champions of the ADCC Submission Fighting World Championship. Look at how oh my Mika just word. constantly recovers. And Rutolo, on the other hand, preferred to put pressure with relentless passing. Great use of the wizard there, yeah. Cade, but the struggle's Bro. not finished what? yet. Young grapplers traded leg lock attempts. He's in good position on this foot. Mika's got to invert on that or Oh my. Oh! Oh, we go out. And the Brazilian went back to his sorcery. Unfortunately for him, Cade showed to be more versed in the dark arts. He's thread his left leg all the way through. <laughs> oh! And Cade Rotolo just submitted! How the f*** did he do that? Are you kidding? Four matches, four Crazy. submissions. Meet the youngest king of no-gi grappling. The youngest ever ADCC champion. It's a victory somersault. Crazy, man. Attack. Back flip from Cade Rotolo. Riding the wave of success, the freshly minted champion jumped on a plane to Malaysia for a battle of styles versus Uali Kurjev, a three-time world sambo champion. Ooh. The one submission grappling championship was on the line. Right here, to take home a world. The Russian wrestler set the tone from the opening seconds. This takedown, like Rich said, oh, nice little sweep right there. Wally. This is for the bout. But Rutolo was ready for Sambo tricks. I thought he was gonna toss me through the wall. <laughs> oh. Teleported behind the back and introduced the enemy to the floor. He still got the back. Damn. Nice little drag to the mat right there. Having tortured his opponent enough, just Cade pure domination right choke. now. Oh. However, it didn't fluster the battle-tested Kurjev. Neither did the strangulation over the jaw. Just three minutes in. Oh, this Kershaw, man, holy, he's a fucking unit. This is going to be a hard one. Forced to succumb to gravity, Rutolo oh. stood up into a single leg. Always doing a good job of fighting the head position. And delicately grounded the foe. Snatch up a single, goes to the body Ooh, lock. Ooh, how the fuck? How? While he's trying to roll through. Dude, that is so weird. Not wasting time so to pass the guard, he jumped into an inside Ashigarame. Position the leg for the heel hook. And took the Sambo Master's precious heel as a keepsake. Oh, no. Oh. It's over. Another Holy prestigious shit. trophy in the Curly Talents collection. Oh yeah, man, he is good, good. What the? Oh. The promotion appreciated the newcomer's fan-friendly style, so a month and a half later, he would be defending his strap from the two-time world champion in gi jiu-jitsu, Mateus Gabriel. Was in his corner. In keeping with tradition, Cade jumped into the firefight right off the bat. Oh! Still, Gabriel kept his composure on the ground. So difficult to pass it. And look at oh my. around the back. He oh. was offensive from his back and threatened with an omoplata. Build a couple more now pretty soon. But uh, first they gotta get past this oh. guy right here because oh my. Rutolo returned the favor. Over the course of ten minutes. 
Which again, 10 minutes doesn't sound strange. Oh. He harassed the adversary on the feet. Didn't have that. There's that ankle pick that Kate likes to do. It sets oh, up <laughs> I just got bodied again. Entertain the spectators at um, every chance. Right now, well, this guy's back and must be hurt. Oh, they've been doing this their entire life, so I doubt that they're gonna go. Oh, oh. Button. that's another. Oh. It looks like he has to go for a heel hook right here. Now he's trying to work his way into a knee bar. Nope. Nope. Gabriel. That could have been All right. as the submission attempt. So Kate imposed a frantic pace. First defense of the world title for Kate Rotillo. Oh Regularly reminding who is the boss in the cage. Definitely work the oh! This comes to an end here in Manila. Good Crazy. show put on. As expected, the judges sided with him. No submission, Mike. No, no Still got that win. Rutolo just recently turned 20 years old, and he is undoubtedly one of the most prominent representatives of the new Holy wave shit. in jiu-jitsu. Yeah, this or guy's a fucking problem. Practicing Damn. the gentle art since he could walk, Cade, just like his brother, achieved both competitive and commercial success. It's nice to witness that the world of submission grappling is moving in the right direction, and we will continue to follow its further development with utmost delight. Yeah. Yeah, he's just bonkers, man. Yeah, I hope he joins like the UFC or like starts with the MMA. Because I feel like he would be. If you enjoyed the video and want to see more he would grappling be a sorcery, problem. tap the like button, subscribe to the channel, and vote for sport. The only thing that might be a problem is. I'm pretty certain most of this stuff there wouldn't really be that possible to do in MMA. Like, I feel like that heel hook, you know, some of the other stuff that he was doing maybe isn't possible because they would just smack the shit out of your face, you know, in MMA because you can use your hands and stuff like that. But I still feel like his, his grappling ability and the way he can just adapt and he can just get the upper hand straight away. I mean, he is easily going to be like one of the best grapplers out there. I mean, stand-up fighting is pretty straightforward. You know, I can kick, I can throw hands, I can do that sort of stuff. But this type of shit, it just looks completely different. It doesn't look like something that you'd, you know, be able to get so good at. But, dude, these lot are f***ing insane, it? I mean, imagine you start fighting someone in a bar or, you know, on the street. However it came to be, I don't care. But you just get into a fight with them and they just jump onto your back, chuck you down on the ground and then, like, twist like 16 times like a fucking crocodile until they've got your heel and they're about to snap your foot in half but yeah i think i think this this dude's gonna be a fucking problem in the future that is for sure yeah anyway that i think will do it for today this video became insanely long we're gonna end it off here hope you did enjoy the video as much as i did uh subscribe if you want to check out more videos for me in the future and yeah i will hopefully see you and my next video coming out very soon.